What's that? 468. 468. What's up, guys? Bill here. And a common question that I get from a lot of shooters looking to get into long range shooting or maybe have limited access to longer distances at their local range is what drills can I practice at 100 yards? I might have a solution for you. Here's the drill called the 21 dot drill that we use at all of our in-person classes. This drill was invented by Frank Galley of Sniper Side and Jacob Bonham of Rifles Only. I'm a huge fan of those two and consider them mentors in the precision rifle world as an instructor slash teacher. We modified it to slightly fit our needs to train our riflemen. It's pretty common for the average long range shooter to go to the range, set up on a bench, maybe range a few targets, dial their dope, and then shoot that target. This drill tests several things. I'm a firm believer in going to the range and always practicing my basic riflemanship because the reality of it is, if I'm in the field as a hunter, a sniper, or a competitive shooter, it's very unlikely that I'm going to have a bench to shoot off of. Unless at a competition, I have a bench that I'm required to shoot off of. This is a great drill that trains certain aspects of your abilities as riflemen that we don't normally practice. So magazine changes, support side shooting, standing to prone, and standing to prone with all your equipment. All you need for this drill is 100 yards or 91 meters, a rifle, a support bag, 22 rounds, this target which I will provide for you below, and a timer. So let's get into it. I demonstrated the 20 dot drill for our modern day rifleman subscribers. Kayla and I were getting ready to train with our military clients, so I wanted to make sure I was proficient behind a 308 since I hadn't shot in a while. I posted this video about it last month. Since it's pre-recorded, I'll take the time in between each drill to walk you through some tips to help you get through each exercise. So the very first event of the drill is a zero confirmation. You need two rounds and you'll have 30 seconds to place two well-aimed shots at the top dot. All this allows you to do is make sure that your zero is good to go and make any adjustments so you're not trying to hold the offset on the rest of the dots. Okay, so this is the start of the 21 dot drill. This is also where you'll confirm your zero confirmation at 100. So 30 seconds on your first dot, you'll stay standing on your rifle. And I'm gonna shoot the left 21 dot drill, Michael. Yeah, timer. Yeah, let me know. Just go ahead, uh, hit the reset button on the right, and then start on the left. Whenever you're ready. You ready? Ready. Begin. My zero is good. So something to remember as we shoot this drill is that other than that top dot that we just shot, every single one of these dots gets one round. So for this next event, you're gonna shoot five rounds, one per dot. For this, you do need two magazines. And what you'll do is you'll have a magazine of three staged in the rifle and a magazine of two. You're gonna start in the prone. You're gonna shoot three rounds, one, two, three conduct a magazine change and then shoot two rounds to finish off the drill. You have 40 seconds to do this. One thing that I recommend is training to reload or have a reload come from your body. You can have the magazine pre-stage if you want, but realistically, if I'm in a situation, I'm most likely not gonna pre-stage mags. So I want to be able to pull and train my body of where that second mag is gonna be on my body. So let's see how this goes. Now we're gonna do uh, support side shooting. 
40 seconds. So this is a mag of five. So this next event is support side shooting. And I realize a lot of you guys probably have not shot support side. This is typically pretty foreign for a lot of shooters that come through our in-person classes. But we believe it's important to train. The reason for that is, is I've been in several situations in competition where I've had to shoot support side. And as a sniper, sometimes when you're in a hide and you need to minimize the amount of exposure that you have, sometimes support side shooting is the best option for that specific situation. So it's always good to know how to shoot with your weak slash support side. So you'll have five rounds staged in the magazine. There's no reloading. You're just gonna shoot five rounds support side. That's support side, shoulder connection, grip, trigger finger and eyeball. So for me as a right-handed shooter, that is all coming from my left side. A tip for this is dropping your cheek piece all the way if you can. So if you notice in the video, I'll drop my cheek piece all the way. And all I'm gonna do is take one shot per dot and I have 40 seconds to do that. 40 seconds. We do 40 seconds support side. Tip, pro tip for support side shooting is drop your cheek piece if you can. Oh, this helps. All right. All right, shoot ready. So the next event is probably one of my favorites. It's standing to prone and each dot gets its own specific time requirement. So this first dot has 15 over it. That means you have 15 seconds from standing to prone to jump down and take one shot at this dot. Then you're gonna reset and then you'll have 13 seconds, 10, eight, all the way down to six. And you're gonna have five rounds stage in the magazine and you'll start standing and when the timer goes off, you're gonna have 15 seconds to jump down, take one shot at this dot. Don't shoot five rounds in 15 seconds. Just take one shot and then reset. So a good tip for this would be your time is saved by getting into position. And one of the things that we like as an introductory shooter to understand is you should be moving fast and shooting slow. As you start to become a more advanced shooter and you know, you're able to push a lot of these things into your subconscious in terms of uh, following natural point of aim, following through, getting square behind the rifle, um, you're gonna be thinking about all these things as you're trying to get into position, especially if you're, again, you're fairly new to long range shooting. But at first, I want you to just focus on moving quickly in a position, but then as soon as you find your target, slow down so that you can apply the proper fundamentals of marksmanship. The last thing that I'll say is only shoot as fast as you can accurately engage each target. We don't want you to rush too much to where you're now sacrificing your fundamentals or you're building bad habits for this position. Okay, so if you've never done this drill, Grin, this third, this is the third row now, third row. You're gonna start standing, your rifle is gonna be staged. You're gonna shoot the third row first dot in 15 seconds. So I got my timer here. Turn this on. Ready. You ready? Yep. Let me give you some. I think 10 seconds. The thing about this, guys, is really throttle control. And, you know, we talk about this in our in our in-person class. I'm ready. You ready? Yep. And flowing into position should be quick, but when you get on your rifle, that's when everything should slow down. 
so you can focus on the shot process. Breathing, reticle, easing on your trigger. All right, I think it's eight and six, right? Yep. Okay, so now we're on third row, fourth dot, eight seconds. I'm gonna speed it up. You ready? Yep. What's that? 514. Okay. And last one. Yeah. Forgot to raise my cheek beat, but that's okay. I can do this. You know, I've been cheating on 25 Pro this whole time. Alright. You ready? Yep. What's that? Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Cool. And so that is the third row. And now the last event for the 21 drop, drop drill is standing to prone with all your equipment in hand. And so one thing that we like to do with this is make sure that our bipods are also forward if you're using bipods. And the reason for that is a lot of times we see shooters go to the field and not understand how to properly manipulate their equipment. So this drill allows you to see how well your bipods or how to uh, deploy your bipods in the case that you need to quickly deploy them in the field to get a shot off. So just like the very previous drill, each dot has its specific time limit. And remember to reset your bipods in the stow position every single time you reset your position. Okay. And so this next one is going to be all gear in hand and a deployment. All right, so we've got a magazine inserted, bolt to the rear. I'm gonna turn the trigger cam on. Make sure your bipods are up. Fourth row, 25 seconds. Okay. You ready? Yep. So really this is being able to efficiently manipulate your gear. Take your shirt off. Making sure I'm in focus here on my second camera. First dot. Perfect. First fourth row. 18 seconds. I got some better markers here. Gives me a marker where I want to place my bipods because the second camera is in focus. One by your feet. All right. Ready? You're ready. Ready. 20 seconds. So obviously there's plenty of time to go through this. So keeping in mind that you want to actually focus on the process, get familiar with your gear. If you even like your gear, this is where a lot of people with bipods that don't deploy quickly get frustrated, but you just got to power through it. Ready? You ready? Yep. And two more dots. Shooter ready. Which, how many seconds is this one? 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Shooter ready? Shooter ready. Get out the bag. Deploy the bipods. And last dot and the nightmare is all over. 10 seconds on this one. Sure, ready. Uh, I think missed that one. Right. 
22 shots, 21 dots. And uh, it's been a while since I actually ran it with that 308, but um, we use the one inch dots. There's two versions. There's a one and a half inch dot and a one inch dot version. And we ran with the one inch dot version. So let's uh, go ahead and look at the damage. Oh, I'm messing with camera settings real quick. All right, not bad. Look at Michael's. And that's pretty much the drill. As you guys see on the fourth event, the standing to prone, I pulled my uh, fourth shot, which is just off the one o'clock. But other than that, 19 out of 20, which I'm happy with. And I'm just happy with how this rifle shot. I'm happy with how I shot. And one thing that you'll notice about this drill is that it, it really emphasizes uh, your ability to drive that rifle at 100 yards without any kind of environmental factors, right? If you are shooting a half minute or quarter minute rifle, well, you might be doing that on your own time, but what if, what, what if you are doing it on someone else's time? You're doing it on uh, the animal's time in the field. If you're a hunter, you're doing it on the enemy's time as a military or law enforcement sniper, or you are you know, doing it on the mass director's time as a competitive shooter. So. Um, this drill allows you to put a little bit of time uh, crunch into your into your processes so that you're able to elevate your stress levels a, bit, a little bit so that you can see how well you, you're training uh, on your normal days. So that pretty much wraps up the drill. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you guys like to see more drills, also let me know. This video is actually a small portion of a course of fire that we do for our modern day riflemen monthly subscribers. and every month we give our shooters essentially a uh, drill or a um, course of fire to work through that allows them to train with intention every time they go to the range and work on specific things that we are doing that month. So if you want to find out more information, head to the Modern Day Rifleman Network, which will be provided in the links below. Other than that, thanks for watching guys, and you know the drill. Keep your face on the gun.